Hello, Juan Carlos, can you hear me? I am perfectly well, perfect. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. I'm a little worried about this uh, seismic activity in La Palma, but anyway. Yeah, this is why I'm calling. So I got a lot of questions from the general public about the activity on uh, La Palma. So I'm wondering uh, whether you would be able to answer a few questions for me. Well, yes, of course. Great. So I understand last weekend on Saturday or Friday evening, uh, the activity, uh, the seismic unrest on La Palma started. Can you say a few words about that? Yeah, well, uh, of course, this is normal in this, in this island. Uh, most most in, in, La, in La Palma, which is the youngest, uh, one of the youngest island of the Canarian archipelago and has a lot of recent activity in Cumbre Vieja. Cumbre Vieja is a, is a ridge in the southern part of the island where at least seven uh, historical erosion have a focus in, in, let's say, in the last 500 years. So it's normal. Two of them have been in the 20th century. So it's normal there to have eruptions. Yes, uh, I think if I recall correctly, there was the 1949 eruption and the 1971 eruption. Yes, and, um, but both of them were, how to put it, I mean, of course, there was some risk and there's some hazards associated with them, but they were relatively small eruptions, if I understand this correctly. Absolutely, they were uh, the smallest thrombolian eruption. The 1949 was a little more explosive because it has some phreatomagmatic component, some interaction of phreatic water with the magma. But anyway, they, they have no casualties, of course. Uh, no, no, no historical eruption have made any casualty ever. So they are not dangerous. And they say the, the, the people from La Palma are very worried until this, they actually the eruption start because when they know where the eruption has started, they know that there is no danger for them. Oh, I see. Um, let me quickly get you to uh, one of the uh, IGN uh, maps here. So I'll do the screen share thing. I think you can see my screen now. Exactly. That's it. Yes. So here's the map from the Instituto uh, Geográfico Nacional. Yes. Yes. Thank you for helping me. My Spanish is not as good as I wish it to be. Uh, but here is the Cumbre Vieja Ridge. And exactly. uh, here is the earthquake swarm. And this is the focal point of the earthquakes. And uh, this is pretty much where the previous eruptions occurred as well. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. The 1949 eruption. Right. What about the earthquakes? How serious are they? Well, people can be a little scared about the amount of uh, earthquakes, but we have to, to take into consideration that most of these uh, earthquakes are not felt by the people, are instrumental, because they are very, very low in, 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 in magnitude. Only a, a, a few of them have been higher than three in, in the Richter scale. That's very the, the, I, we, we, I, Let's say that this is the limit where the people can start feeling the, uh, the actually the, the earth moving. I see, because here I got the uh, latest data from IGN from the last three days. Three days, and, yes. Uh, here's the magnitude given with different symbols and the triangles are the larger ones in this case. It's uh, only 2.7 in the Richter scale. This is, is only instrumental. You cannot feel that. Yes, um, the small ones you can certainly not feel. Uh, smaller than one or one and a half is, is almost imperceptible to us. So Absolutely. most of these earthquakes are, they're micro earthquakes. They're not necessarily- The interesting thing about this graphic is the, the depth of the, actually of the, the focus of the earthquakes. You see that there are, most of them are in the, uh, around 10 kilometers depth. Yeah, a little shallower even. And then, of course, there's some surface activity because of the inflation that's going on. Exactly. So I... Inflation uh, is a little, is a little, well, it's most interesting because the, the, the National Geographic Institute say has measured 1.5 centimeters. But in the last days, this has grown up, has increased to almost six centimeters. And this is a... 
This is a serious uh, uplift. So uh, something is going on, I guess. So, and just very briefly, um, I looked it up here just to remind myself about the earthquake intensities. So small earthquakes, smaller than one on the Richter scale, uh, you cannot actually feel them. And when it comes to three, which is about the uh, largest magnitude we have right now, people can feel them near the epicenter. And of course, there will be some surface consequences, some small rock falls, but it's not yet very damaging, I understand. Not yeah, yet well, it's 20, 20, 20 tons of dynamite, but of course we have to consider that this is 10 kilometers deep. So the, the energy ar uh, arriving to the surface is yes. very small. Of course, this is very deep. There's a lot of rock above this. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, actually, uh, earthquakes in the in this type of island, in these oceanic islands, are never, or almost never, a, a danger, a risk. The, the The interesting thing about the earthquake is that they herald, they announce a possible eruption. There so, are precursors of eruption, that, but of course, the eruption after the increasing seismicity even when they approach progressively the surface and even if there is inflation which has, are the, 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 the characteristic of an impending eruption most of the time the, 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 this um, unrest stop without any sufficient uh, manifestation so not not always at all this crisis and in a volcanic eruption? That's one of the questions I got. And I think you answered that rather well. We cannot be sure that there is actually going to be an eruption at this point. There is the possibility of an eruption. And um, in terms of the size of the eruption, can we say very much about this right now? Well, I, actually, all historical eruption that we know in, in, in this Cumbre Vieja feature in La Palma have been strombolian. It's nothing compared to the big eruption we see in the media, like Pinatubo or, or, uh, or in, in Indonesia. These are very small eruptions uh, that they don't pose a real hazard to the population. That's and also this time, and also this time the authorities are learned from previous eruptions and now they are taking measures that are very correct and how you say, inappropriate. That sounds extremely good because um, this is one of the big worries that people have expressed, at least in emails to me, um, that um, there could be a large eruption, but it's not a highly likely situation. Some estimates I, would, I would say that this is very unlike to have a big eruption in, in this type of uh, volcanism. Uh, certainly all of these historical eruptions, the uh, 1949 and the um, 1712 and the uh, 1646 eruption, the 1677, and of course also the 1971, and also the 1585 eruption, they were all comparatively small. There was, of course, lava flow, these gray areas here, and there was very They are here. characteristically, they, uh, at the top of the, the, the ridge, they made a cinder cone, not very big one, about 100 meters high or so. And then fluid lavas flow in the slopes, and some of them reach the sea. That's all. Yes. So and because, guess... because the, the, the slope is very, very, very pronunciated, and there are a lot of uh, barrancos of uh, the lava flows normally get into one barranco and go to the sea directly. So there is very little influence in the, even in the, in the houses and the uh, crops or whatever. So really are not very dangerous options. Let's hope that if the eruption happens, that uh, this will be the case indeed. Um, I guess my last uh, question, and I'll stop sharing this now, just to show this is the vents on top of the ridge, the Cumbre Vieja ridge. That's Cumbre Vieja, exactly. This is the steep slopes. There's a few lava platforms, including some of the younger ones. Yeah, um, this, usually... this actually is the last one that's 1971 here. Down here, exactly. that's right. That one. 
And uh, of course, there could be some infrastructure damage, but uh, hopefully uh, casualties will be very low in 1971. I think there was uh, two fatalities, but they were accidents. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. They, they, they will destroy very little things, but also they make this platform, this coastal platform that immediately they use putting artificial soil to grow bananas. And because they are very, very, very low and the climate is very good, they, they are the best crop of bananas in the island is <laughs> those in the platform of the recent eruption. So it's a balance. Volcano banana sounds great to me. Absolutely, <laughs> perfect. Now, uh, some people are concerned, and this is the last question I have for you today. Uh, some people are concerned because over the last 20 years, there has been repeated claims that um, the island of La Palma could be unstable and that the entire flank of the Cumbre Vieja could collapse and could create a mega tsunami. Now, there has been huge debate about this in the scientific community. And uh, what is your kind of feeling on that? What is the probability of an eruption causing a large landslide? Can you perhaps give, you, give us a comment on that? Yeah, well, uh, it's impossible for a, for a scientist to say that something is not going to happen. The only thing is that uh, uh, the, there are no uh, signs that this, is, this Cumbre Vieja is unstable. Okay. Uh, for instance, in Hawaii, in the Helena Fault system, you can see that the, the roads are continuously being repaired because there are cracks and they are banana plantations that go under the sea. So you see that this is moving. But in La Palma, uh, there are not this type of, uh, of uh, signs. And also there have been a, a, a thorough study from the, from a, uh, university in Delft, in Holland, and they've made a very nice study of the stability uh, of the Cumbre Vieja, and they come to the conclusion that this is not uh, unstable at all, still. Uh, we don't know in a few th thousand years from in the future, but of course, this is not nothing we have to worry yet. <laughs> Thank God. Um, uh, I hope you're right. And uh, I also like to add that in the 1971 eruption, uh, no such uh, signs have been seen. There was no larger landslides exactly. on the western flank. So uh, an eruption does not uh, necessarily imply instability of the flank at all. So hopefully, uh, if it comes to an eruption, it will be a uh, typical eruption for the recent history of La Palma with some uh, vent activity in the crest area. And that is Absolutely. usually unpopulated area. So there is no danger for population or for infrastructure. And lava flows might come down the valleys. And then in the valley floor, you will have some lava activity. But that's not strictly where people live. And therefore, hopefully, damage to infrastructure and to yeah. the local population will be low. Actually, the concern about this potential landslide is for two reasons. One is because in the Canary Islands, there have been several of these giant landslides in El Hierro, in Tenerife, and even in La Palma. There was one, but it was 670,000 years ago. That is an almost, that's a, a, an important figure in geology, and this is a, 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 an enormous in human scale. And the second concern is because a, a giant landslide, landslide that, like, like that would produce a tsunami that could reach the Atlantic coast of the United States. And of course, in the Atlantic coast, there are seven big nuclear plants like the Fukuyama in Japan. So imagine, the, for, 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 you see, this is the probability, of, um, fortunately, is extremely low but the consequences would be extremely high. So that's the That's the, the concern. Problem. So I the share concern, the concern yes. that if a, an event like that happens, it's a very serious thing. Absolutely. But, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not a very frequent event. And I think uh, people have calculated that the- uh, Never has been observed <clears throat> in, in, in history one of these. The, the biggest one was the, the St. Helens. Slide. And uh, that was comparatively small to the Canary Islands, of, of course. course. 
I mean, um, the frequency of these events in the Canary Islands is, uh, I think, every half a million years. Uh, and, sorry, exactly. And El Hierro had um, uh, one uh, more than 100,000 years ago. And then, as you say, the 600,000 year uh, events. Um, but uh, I mean, technically, statistically speaking, we should not strictly have uh, to expect another giant landslide in the near future. But then, of course, one never knows. Uh, we have to be. We never uh, know. That. We cannot say that this is not going to happen. But of course, we can say that the probability of this happening is extremely low in human scale of time. That sounds very good. So. Uh, I hope that indeed it will be a very pleasant eruption, very much like 1971, uh, very much like the one on Iceland where people can come and watch and uh, be in awe about the eruption, but uh, no real danger to anyone. Thank you very much, Con Carlos, for your time. And um, this has been very good. Um, I hope that uh, it will answer many of the questions I received. So, and uh, I'll be in touch again in a few days. And uh, anytime we'll you want, anytime you want. Course. Thank you, and we'll see how the uh, events develop uh, on uh, the uh, Canaries. So, thank you very much, Juan Carlos, and I say bye-bye from Sweden. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.